from a bike on which you can surf to a personal submarine. There are seriously some insanely awesome water vehicles, and we have done the honor to put some of the most amazing of them in a list. Jet Surf Electric With surfing becoming one of the most popular sports across the world, professional surfers travel distances in search of perfect waves, and what plays the most important part of this sport is the surfboard. JetSurf was the leader of motorized surfboards for a decade due to their dominant market position in petrol-powered boards, and now they are aiming higher with their new electric surfboards. For 2020, JetSurf has introduced an all-new electric option to its lineup. Maintaining the same DNA as the rest of the JetSurf family, the electric model has a full carbon fiber hull made for perfect maneuverability and speed. Vanquish Vancraft VQ-16 Someone finally created the water scooter yacht combo that most people wanted to see. You can even say it is a boat-sized jet ski as you wish. The Netherlands-based boat maker's roster of yachts includes a 16-foot watercraft that combines a super yacht tender with the best aspects of a water scooter. The resulting crossover allows up to six people to enjoy the thrill of speeding across the water in both comfort and style. Vanquish outfitted the new performance watercraft with a 1.8-liter Yamaha engine with jet propulsion pushing 200 horsepower. That's good for 40 knots in the standard model and a blistering 50 knots in the supercharged Veloci version. It'll even track in reverse if you wind up somewhere you're not supposed to be. Quadrifoil Q2 The field of motorized recreational vehicles is seeing much development with the availability of high-performance electric motors, new materials, computer-aided design, etc., and the Quadrifoil is a prime example of this phenomenon. Quadrifoil is an unsinkable two-seater hydrofoil powered by Torquedo. The Q2 comes with arguably one of the coolest features available in any high-end watercraft, a Formula One inspired, and as you can see, the looks are pretty spectacular too. There are 3.2 kilowatt and 5.5 kilowatt motors used in the three models and enabling a top speed of just over 20 knots giving you the feeling of flying. Seamlessly cutting through the waves, this incredible piece of technology is perfect for lakes, rivers, and the ocean. Iguana 29 The Iguana is a whole new look at amphibious vehicles as we know them. The French manufacturer, Iguana Yachts, is offering something entirely different. This completely different yacht was named Iguana, an animal that adapts to the environment. But instead of changing color, this Iguana walks on water as on land. They're equipped with retractable, tank-like tracks that enable them to roll right up on the land. When it's time to go back out under the water, you simply drive right into the waves and press a button to fold the tracks away. The amphibious boat is perfect for when the tide goes down and one has to navigate between sandbanks, rocks, and currents. Gliss Speed The Gliss Speed is the first ever nautical water go-kart that is easy to drive and accessible for all ages. Turn a quiet day on the lake into a heart-pumping thrill ride by hopping aboard this electric water go-kart. This French innovation will astonish you and will make the buzz. Kids 9 years old and up can enjoy water go-kart and it's a safe vehicle with intuitive driving handles. It runs on lithium batteries that will give you 2 hours of awesome playtime. It will reach speeds of up to 14 knots, while the power remains below 5 horsepower. For an even greater enhancement to the fun, there is a Gliss Speed racetrack that will increase competition and add excitement. Use it on lakes or the sea. No matter where you use it, this is going to be fun. Woe Kart This is a fun little toy for those who like speed, water, and the rush of adrenaline. It has the agility of a go-kart, the speed of a sports boat, and the layout of a catamaran for performance. Meet the Woe Kart. Designed by Theo Christian, the Woe Kart takes everything we love about go-karts and applies it to an asymmetric catamaran outboard that's ready to tear up the water. Equipped with a 70 horsepower outboard motor, the lightweight water vessel can reach speeds of up to 46 miles per hour, and it's so incredibly agile that it can make 90 degree turns at that speed. Designed in Switzerland, the Wolkart offers a safe but fast watercraft alternative that can be used even in locations where jet crafts are forbidden. Schiller Water Bike with a billion bikes on the planet built for land, Schiller Bikes decided it was time to pedal uniquely, or more precisely, pedal on the water. Founded in 2013, Schiller Bikes is pioneering a new frontier in water biking. Built with stainless steel and anodized parts to minimize corrosion, 
The Schiller water bike is ridden just like any other, propelled by pedals and steered by handlebars. With cruising speeds of 4 to 5 miles per hour and top speed at over 8 miles per hour, the S1 water bike gives people of all ages and athletic abilities an exhilarating bike ride on the open water for fun, fitness, and exploration. The lightweight S1 is easy to assemble, transport, and riders have a unique glass-bottom view of an aquatic world below. Platypus Craft The Platypus Craft is a French invention combining boating and sailing with diving. On the surface, Platypus looks like a modified pedal boat. Yet with the flick of a switch, Platypus turns into a user-friendly submersible. It looks like a Timoran with a central hole connected to the lateral holes by rocking arms. The center of craft lowers into the water to a depth of 2 meters for underwater navigation, the lateral holes remaining at the surface with the engines. Best of all, Platypus comes with an internal air supply so you don't need to bring any scuba tanks. Powered by two outboard motors, it can reach surface speeds of 10 to 12 knots. Recently, Platypus Craft unveiled their new semi-submersible tender-designed Swordfish, which is the world's first boat capable of becoming a submarine. DC Shoes Surfing Bike Surf photography doesn't usually feature motorcycles. From flyboards to hoverboards, there are some crazy water rideables out there at the moment, but they pale in comparison to this wave-riding dirt bike built for DC Shoes and piloted by Australian stunt rider Robbie Madison. For its latest project titled Pipe Dream, DC Shoes partnered with Australian stunt bike rider Robbie Madison for dirt bike surfing. The team spent two and a half years working on making the idea a reality, creating a modified bike that boasts special fins for hydroplaning, a waterproof engine, and custom rear tires. Madison took his modified dirt bike to the massive waves of Tahiti to give motorbike surfing a trial by fire. The result? You get a bike that surfs the wave. Nemo. Meet the Nemo, the personal submarine you can tow like your jet skis. When it comes to owning a submarine, the place to put it becomes a much bigger issue, but that isn't a problem for the latest personal sub by U-Boat Works. At 5 feet tall and 5,510 pounds, making it the world's lightest manned submarine will not only fit aboard a variety of ships, it is also light enough to be towed behind a mid-size SUV. This tiny two-seater submarine allows you to explore underwater worlds down to a depth of 100 meters. The Nemo's completely transparent acrylic sphere window was purpose-built with the undersea landscape in mind and can be easily piloted via a game console-like controller. Of course, Nemo's underwater adventures will come at a price that stands around a million dollars. Here ends our list of awesome water vehicles. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.